learning objectives after studying this module students will be able to know the components of ms access learn to design table in database create forms in access understand the concept of query and types of queries create queries create of reports in access no ways to generate reports learn different ways to export reports in database ms access and its components what is ms access ms access is the relational database management system that helps to organize data in the form tables it organizes stores manages and create database components of ms access there are various components of ms access tables this component helps to organize the data in the form of rows and columns the rows are called as tuples and columns are called as records this component helps to define field names data types and properties of the field queries this component helps to retrieve data from the tables query is basically the question we ask from the database and on the basis of those queries the data is retrieved forms this component allows a designer to create a user interface to interact with the database on the basis of tables and queries forms help a user to change and enter data in the database reports this component helps to create reports on the basis of tables and queries these reports are generated on the basis of requirements of the user pages this component helps to create database pages which can post on a website using the internet or through email on the organization networks macros a macro is a tool which allows you to do automatic tasks and add functionality to your forms reports and controls modules modules allow the designer to create a set of programming instructions known as subroutines or functions that can be used throughout the functions the functions return a value while subroutines do not the extension of access file is dot mdb access basics for creating database steps to create a database in access to create a database in access we need to follow the following steps open microsoft access program click on blank database and choose the location and name of the file click on create button or click on the new button in the file menu creating of tables in access we need to follow the steps given below to create a table in access when we click on the create button a table window will appear on our monitor screen go to the design view to design the table as per your own requirements properties of a column in a table there are mainly two properties of a column in a table field names this helps to give the column name in a table we need to define the field name and the data types as per the name of a column chosen we can give the description of the column also data types access uses many data type which are discussed below text this data type is used to store string characters or numbers or symbols on which no arithmetic calculation can be done the maximum length that this data type accepts is 255 characters memo this data type is used to store long characters like addresses etc it can store characters up to 65536 number this data type stores number on which calculation can be done it can be integer long integer bytes double single etc date and time it stores date and time in different formats currency it stores the values in the form of dollars rupees 
etc. Data types Auto number It is used to give the numbers to the fields automatically. It assigns the value automatically. Yes or no? This data type helps to enter logical values that needs to be answered in yes or no, on and off, or true or false. Oily object. This data type helps to insert an object from some other file into access. With this, we can draw or type something in any other software and import in access. Hyperlink. This data type helps in creating links between two objects. The objects can be picture, text, audio and video. Properties of the fields. After designing the data types, we need to set up the property of each field. We can set the following properties of a field. General properties. Field size. Under this property, you can specify the number of characters that are allowed in the column. Format. It helps to specify the looks of the contents that we need to be displayed in the column. Input mask. Input masks are the certain formats that we use for data entry. It includes placeholders and punctuations. It is useful only for text and data type of fields. Caption. This property gives a label to the field at the time of designing table. If this property is set to blank, the field name becomes the default caption and is used to label the field. Default value. This property fixes up some value in the field which will appear as we enter and move to next field. Validation rule and text. This property sets some condition for fields and if somebody violates the rule or condition, then the message appear, which we write in the validation text. Field properties in access. Required and indexed. When this property is set to yes, then user cannot move to next column without entering data in the field. If it is set to no, then user can move to next field without entering data. Indexing a field helps in speeding up, sorting, searching and filtering of records on that particular field. Allow zero length. It specifies whether a text string with zero length is valid or not. It is used for text fields. Lookup. This feature is used by a field to check its values in another table query. In a text field, the list of valid values can be displayed using combo box or list box. Database designed for simple voucher transactions. Let us say there are five tables in database account type, account, employee, vouchers and support. Now let us define the different data types and properties for each table. A. Account type. This table has two columns, category and category ID. In the cat ID, we can store the account category identification and the data type can be taken as number. This field can also be defined as primary key as it stores the unique values of category of records. In category, if we can define the category of the account like purchase account, expanse account, etc. and it can be taken as a text entry. Designing database for simple transactions. B. Accounts. This field has three columns. Code, name and type. Code. Every individual has a separate account number. The data type for this field can be kept textual because it doesn't involve any kind of calculations. Name. We know that every account has a name and this field store the name of those accounts against the account code. Its data type is also defined as text as it does not need to perform any kind of calculations. Type Each account belongs to one account type as stored in account type table. C. Employees 
This table contain all the data related to the employees. The column would be Employee ID. This field contains the ID of the employees to uniquely identify them. So it can be declared as a primary key. F name. This field stores the first name of the employee. The data type can be set as text as it stores string values. M name. This field stores the middle name of the employees. Again, the value is stored in strings, so its data type should be text. L name. This field will store the last name of the employee in the text data type. Phone number. This field contains the contact number of the employee and will store the value in number data type. Super ID. This field stores the ID of the supervisor. Its data type is set to texts. D. Vouchers. This table has designed to store the transaction data contained in a voucher. V number. This field stores the voucher number and displays the distinct identity of the transaction. The data type of this field can be kept as texts. Designing database for simple transaction debit. This field stores the code of an account. As it is primary key of accounts table, so it will be a foreign key for vouchers table. Amount. This field stores the amount that is to be credited or debited in accounts. The data type can be taken as a number because it calculates the number as per the given instructions. V date. This field stores the voucher date means the transaction date. The data type for this field would be date and time. Credit. This field stores the codes of the accounts that is being credited. Narration. This column records the narrations. The data type that can be set for this column would be memo as it can accommodate 6,56,536 characters. Prep by. This field stores the identity of the employee who prepared vouchers and it identifies the employee from the employee table. Authorized by, this field stores the identity of the employee who authorized the vouchers created. It also identifies the employee from employee table. Support, this table contains all the support documents that are annexed to vouchers. It stores V number, S number, D name and S date. Modified design for implementing compound voucher. There are two tables created in this. Voucher name. It helps to store at least one record for each transaction. It consists of V number, ACC code, V date, prep by, authorized by, and type. ACC code. It contains the account codes for complementing accounts. Like for debit vouchers, it is credit account, and for credit vouchers, it is debit account. Type. This column has stores A value 0 for debit vouchers or 1 for credit vouchers. Its data type therefore is set to number. The values must be correctly entered in this fields as otherwise show error. Modified design for compound vouchers. Voucher details. This table stores only that data that appears in the debit and credit vouchers. It consists of the column names as V number. This column stores voucher number of debit or credit entries of vouchers main table to which the credit or debit entries of voucher details table are related. Serial number. This column stores the serial numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, corresponding to the serial number of debit and credit entries done in the accounting voucher table. Code. This column stores the account codes that are debit vouchers for debit accounts and credit vouchers for credit accounts. Purpose of creating forms. Data entry. The main purpose of creating forms is data entry. It helps to edit, view and enter data. 
flow of application. Forms helps to navigate through the access document. Custom dialog box. It is also used for sending messages to the user or getting conditions from the user for executing a condition-based query. Printing information. It provides hard copies of data entry work. Toolbox and form controls. Toolbox. It is a collection of objects that are presented in front of us on the form to provide some functionality. Properties of controls. A form control has its independent set of properties which decide the shape, size, behavior and functionality of the object. It can be divided into three categories, format, data and others. Properties of controls. Format property. It decides the way in which the data is displayed in a control. It is set and used in three situations. 1. When the property is not set for the field. 2. When the format setting of the field is to be overridden. 3. When a control, which is not bound to any data field, is to be displayed in a particular manner. Decimal Places It determines the number of decimal places up to which the numeric data is displayed by the control. Caption This property can be used for label button, command button and changes the text that will be displayed on the controls while running them. Visible It tells whether the control inserted on the form should be visible or hidden while the runtime of the form. Layout properties Changes the size and position of the control on the form. Back color and style. It helps to set the background color and style of the control. Special effects. It provides the special effects to the control. Like flat, raised, sunken, etched and shadowed etc. Border styles. This helps to set the border style for the control. Like transparent, dashes, solid etc. Font Properties and Text Align This property allows to change the font size, type and alignment of the text on the controls. Display When This property decides whether the data is to be sent for printing or on screen. Scroll Bar This property specifies whether the scroll bars will appear when the data does not fit into size of the controls. Data Properties in Access Data Properties Control Source This property defines the field from a record source which is related with a particular control. Input Mask The Input Mask property of control is used to define what data is entered into the field. Default Value This property defines the default value for the field while we enter new record. Validation rule and text. The validation is performed at form level when it comes to control and database level when it comes to fields. In case of bound controls, the user cannot enter data into the control. Enabled and locked. This property decides whether the focus is given to control or not. Locked property defines whether the data is in the control can be edited or not. Other properties. Name. It gives a name to the control. Status bar text. This displays the text messaged that is displayed in the status bar while focusing on the control. Enter key behavior. It decides whether by you. Common control in access. Types of control in access. There are three types of control used in access. Bound. These controls are used to display and edit data in a database. Unbound. It displays information to the user or get data from the user which is not stored in database. Calculated. It displays the results of a query. 
it contains functions to do calculations some common controls for form label labels can contain data that is stored in access tables or data that is imported or linked from other sources text box this control provides the blank area to enter text or values list box this control allows a user to make choices out of available set of given values combo box it combines a list of box and text box and allows a user to select an item from a list subform a form within a form is called a subform and represent data in tabular form the main form and subform are like parent and child option groups it helps a user to select one option out of many options command button it is used to execute an action in the form there are six types of command buttons in a form record navigation record operation form operation report operation application miscellaneous this category has four command buttons auto dialer run query run macro print table steps of creating forms by wizard and design view creation of forms there are two ways to create a form in access through design or through wizard steps to create a form by wizard double click on the create form wizard choose data table choose fields as per requirements click on the next button choose layout of the form click on the next option choose the style of presentation click on next and choose the title of the form click on finish button modifying form design The following modifications can be done in the form: changing control properties, moving and resizing controls, align and space controls, converting controls, conditional formatting controls, rearranging tabs, adding new controls, deleting existing controls. Steps for creating form by design view. Click on new to open new form dialog box. Choose a table to create forms. Access gives three options: one for blank database, one for toolbox, and one for field. Select a field from the list and place it in blank area. Give a title for the form and to identify the form. Change the properties of the controls to get the desired results. We can move or resize the controls as per needs. Align the controls to left, right as per need and with spacing you can leave a gap between the various controls. With the help of converting controls option we can change one control into another. The conditional formatting helps to specify criteria for the text control. We can change the sequence of the controls by clicking on the rearranging tab order option. creating queries and their types basics of creating queries a query helps to retrieve data on the basis of different criteria from the tables in a database types of queries there are many types of queries that helps to retrieve information from a database there are three types of queries that are generated in access one simple query Select query is also called as simple query as it does not use functions to produce results. The criteria used in this query is based on constant value. 2. Parameter queries. This query asks user to enter criteria for the query through input box and select records. We use this query when we want to repeat the query with various criteria. 3. summary queries a summary query is used to retrieve aggregate data rather than individual records adding computed fields we add computed fields in the database as they provide updated calculated results 
because they keep updating stored values using functions in the queries. We declare a function with the help of bracket. Function helps us to receive inputs as arguments and displays output. How to create queries? There are three ways to create queries, wizard, SQL and design. Through wizard, select queries from objects. Click on create query wizard. Click on simple query wizard. Select the fields from a table that you want to be included in the query. Click on next and specify the name for the query. Click on finish and click on run to execute the query. Creating query through design and SQL view method. Creating query through design. Select queries and click on the create by design view option. Select query and show tables. Window will appear on monitor screen. Add the table from which you want to retrieve data. Add fields in the query. Specify the criteria in the criteria option. Click on the sort option to display the data in ascending or descending order. Save the query. Click on the run option to run the query. SQL view method. The following statements will be used for creating queries through SQL method. Select. This clause defines the fields to display information. From. It defines the source of data in tables and queries. Inner. It displays only matching records within two tables. Left. It displays all records of primary table, whether they are matching with related tables or not. Right. It displays all the records of related tables in whether they are matching with primary table or not. Where. This is used to give the condition to limit the records to be displayed by query. Order by. It specifies the order in which records will be displayed. Group by. It groups the various records to create a summary of query. Creating reports through wizard and design view. Auto report. This is the method to create reports in tabular or columnar formats. Click on the report option. Then click on new and then new report. Choose auto report and choose the format. Select the source of information. Click OK. Creating report through wizard. Select report object and click on create report by wizard option. Choose the table or query. Select the fields to add through arrow keys. Choose another table or query to show relationships between tables. Click on next. Add grouping levels for displaying the matter of the reports. Click on Sort to arrange in ascending or descending order. Click on OK and then Next. Choose the layout of the report. Choose style of report. Click on Finish. Through Design View. Click on Create and then Create in Design Mode. Open the drop-down menu by right-click the mouse on black spot area. Click on Properties and then choose Source from Data tab. Select the fields on which you want to report to be generated. Drag and drop the selected fields to Details section. Refining the report design. We can add or change the following to make the report look more appealing and interesting. Adding dates and page numbers. Adding and deleting report controls. Conditional formatting reports controls, grouping levels and sorting orders. Accounting reports and its types. Accounting reports. A report is a collection of related information for the purpose of reducing the uncertainty amongst the decision makers and to influence the decision makers. An accounting report must impress the customers gives confidence to the customers and forces a customer to take positive action. Types of reports Programmed reports These reports displays information which is useful for decision makers
to take decision. It can be further classified as scheduled reports and on-demand reports, casual reports. The reports that are casually required by the user, it does not require professional assistance. Process of creating reports. It involves three steps. Designing the report. Identifying accounting information queries. Using the record set of final SQL. Basics of designing a report in Access. There are two formats to represent reports. Columnar report. A columnar format displays the caption of each field on a separate line in a single column down the page. Tabular report. A tabular format shows the caption of fields in the same line so that their information contents appear in the next line. Structure of report in Access Report header, page header, group header, details, group footer, page footer, report footer. Methods of creating reports There are three methods to create reports. Auto report. This is the method to create reports in tabular or columnar formats. Click on the Report option. Then, click on New and then New Report. Choose Auto Report and choose the format. Select the source of information. Click OK. Saving and Exporting Reports There are different ways to save and export reports. A. Saving and exporting report, object in access. In access, the report is saved as an object by giving a name to it. The report object generates the report in desired specification. B. Saving as snapshot. Saving as snapshot gives an option to users to view report without access. It generates the high quality image of each page of the report. C. Exporting to Excel A report that being generated can be exported to Excel. D. Exporting to Word A report can also be exported to Word processing software. We need to give Publish with Word command for the same. E. Printing a report A report after being generated can be printed as hard copy to keep the records. F. Emailing a report. The report can also be shared through email. A user need to have internet connection to access the reports online. Designing accounting reports using access. Trial balance. The trial balance provides the net amount by which each account during the given accounting period has been debited or credited. For calculating net balance for every account, along with its identity, following steps are taken. 1. To find the total amount by which every account has been debited. 2. To find the total amount by which every account has been credited. 3. To find a collective record, set of accounts with their debit and credit totals. 4. To find the net amount with which Every account has been debited or credited. 5. To find the record set which consists of account code, name of account, debit and credit amount. Procedure of designing a simple trial balance in Access Steps to generate trial balance using Design View 1. Select reports from objects and click at New Object button of Toolbar. In New Report window, choose Design View and Query 05 for Data Source and click OK. 2. Right-click anywhere on Report Design and choose Report Page, Header and Footer. 3. Select all the fields of Query 05 by clicking at every field while keeping the Control key pressed. 4. Select the label controls of all the four fields by clicking at each while keeping the Shift key pressed. 5. Select all these labels control and right-click to choose properties for rearranging them.
6. Align the text controls in Details section to appear just below each of the respective label controls appearing in Page Header section. 7. Select the text controls and debit and credit field and modify their properties. 8. Pick up a label control from Toolbox and place at Report Footer section. 9. Pick up a text control and place it at Report Footer section. 10. Pick up another text control and place it at Report Footer section. Steps to design trial balance with sorting and grouping. Copy the trial balance design and paste it with different name. Click at Properties, choose Tab and set the record source property as Query 107. Replace existing expressions of debit and credit by given expression. Right click at Report Design, click at Sorting and Grouping. Define the basis of grouping as cat ID in field or expression and its sorts order set to ascending. Save the modifications in the above report design. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. MS Access is the relational database management system that helps to organize data in the form tables. Table component helps to organize the data in the form of rows and columns. Queries helps to retrieve data from the tables. Forms allows a designer to create a user interface to interact with the database on the basis of tables and queries. Report helps to create reports on the basis of tables and queries. A macro is a tool which allows you to do automatic tasks and add functionality to your forms, reports and controls. Modules allow the designer to create a set of programming instructions known as subroutines or functions that can be used throughout the functions. Text data type is used to store string characters or numbers or symbols on which no arithmetic calculation can be done. Memo data type is used to store long characters like addresses, etc. A form control has its independent set of properties, which decide the shape, size, behavior, and functionality of the object. Format property decides the way in which the data is displayed in a control. Visible property tells us whether the control inserted on the form should be visible or hidden while the runtime of the form. There are different ways to save and export reports. A. Saving and exporting report object in Access. B. Saving as snapshot. C. Exporting to Excel. D. Exporting to Word. E. Printing a report.